need to be poised and then slowly sent quietly into the night. Yeah. And shocking. It's, yeah. It's absolutely shocking. It's like I said earlier, we pay for the fluoridation of our own water. We pay for the medication and, and drug, if you like, uh, and poison yeah. that's put into our water. The very yeah. same thing. It, 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 all of our governments are spending our money on things yeah. that we disagree with. So uh, yes. it's outrageous. Yeah. I mean, that's subterfuge on, on a high level, isn't it? Sorry? That's subterfuge on a high level. Oh, completely, man. Sean, I've got some articles here that have been online in the in the last few days and weeks and months, um, okay. uh, proposing um, blocking out the sun and taking control of the, of the climate. Here's one here from the Economist magazine from April 27th, just gone, um, and the headline is "Political Economy Suggests That Geoengineering Is Likely to Be Used." And then from the Guardian newspaper from the 11th of March 2019, the headline is. Radical plan to artificially cool Earth's climate could be safe. Study finds. <laughs> could, could be safe. I love that. Could be safe. Um, study finds. There's just a couple more. I just want to read these out because it's important that people Please. know that this is, this, it's, it, this is all current stuff. It's all out there. It's for anybody to read. It's all proposals in the mainstream. The Economist magazine again um, from March 14th. Countries look at ways to tinker with the Earth's thermostat. And here's ABC News in America from February 25th. Uh, can geoengineering slow climate change or will it be used as an excuse not to cut emissions? And then CNN News from the 23rd of November. Dimming the sun. Is this the answer to global warming? And it just goes on and on. I've got loads more from here. But look at, no, just one more. Any, I'll read uh, the Guardian newspaper from 23rd of November. Um, solar geoengineering could be remarkably inexpensive, report says. <laughs> remarkably inexpensive, yeah. In, yeah. in, in, in what so, cost? Because the cost of yeah. people's health is outrageous. So let's, I want to just talk about global warming first of all, because this is, this is the idea that they're basing these insane genocidal plans on, um, Sean. Yeah. So let's talk about um, the 32,000 scientists that, that signed a petition in America five years ago, which 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 uh, all agree that global warming is a hoax. Yeah. Thirty-two thousand American scientists, nine nine thousand of which have PhDs, and it's it's just an absolute an absolute lie beyond. It's the greatest scientific fraud of our time, Sean. This global warming hoax. And back in two thousand and nine, there was a thing called the Climate Gate scandal, and this is where. Um, there were scientists in the University of East Anglia in England, meteorological scientists, and in, in email exchanges they were caught fiddling the global um, uh, temperature data, and they they were trying they they uh, skewed the data so that um, it would look like the world was warming, but in fact the world was cooling. The, the real data um, proved, but they they changed that to, and said that the world is warming. So, but they were caught, and that that became known as climate gate, as in Watergate, because yes. this was huge. I mean. This was the, the, the revealing of the biggest, um, you know, as I said, the biggest scientific fraud of our time. And it was only a footnote in the newspapers. Uh, Channel 4 News, I remember, barely covered it. Um, I remember it was just at the end of the news. Um, and, um, you know, just absolutely insane. But um, I want to talk about the Club of Rome, um, Sean. The Club <laughs> of Rome is a think tank organization. Oh, don't I know it. Yeah. David Rockefeller back in 1968. Did you know that Mary uh, Robinson is in the Club of Rome? That's right, yeah. yeah. And for those who don't, I know all your listeners would know who David Rockefeller is, but for those who don't, David Rockefeller's family uh, are responsible for the debts of untold millions. They, they have funded every war for the past two or three hundred years. They're the most evil family along with the Rockefellers and Oppenheimers and all of these bloodline, filthy, inbred elites, so-called elites. Anyhow, David Rockefeller set up this organization called the Club of Rome in 1968, and um, it was set up to, to basically promote, well, the cover story of the, 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 um, the, the for, for this uh, think tank was that it was set up to promote awareness of global challenges. Now... I want to read a quote from a Club of Rome book, which was um, which was written in 1991. It's called. Oh, where is it now? One sec. I've got to get this uh, quote. One second, John. No worries. You get the quote. 
Live interviews are great, aren't they? <laughs> I can never remember this quote. It's so bloody long. All right, no worries. Okay, this is from a book by the Club of Rome, which was published in 1991. It's called the, the book is called The First Global Revolution. And here is the quote. In searching for a new enemy to unite us, we came up with the idea that pollution, the threat of global warming, water shortages, famine, and the like would fit the bill. All these dangers are caused by human intervention, and it is only through changed attitudes and behavior that they can be overcome. The real enemy then is humanity itself. And that is a quote from that book. Isn't that That's incredible? The Rome. Yeah, it's incredible. So, and, and like Henry Kissinger, you know, he said, you know, that we're just the herd, and um, you know that yeah. we need to be culled on a, on a regular basis. Uh, you know. Yeah. So, so um, this 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 is sorry. Did, yeah, go on, Sean. No, no, no. You carry on, Terry. This is confirmation that that the, the whole global warming hysteria is a contrived and orchestrated um, hoax to, in order, you know, to to um, take control of, of of humanity and. I want to talk about um, problem, reaction, solution because this is a technique that the elites have used for hundreds, if not thousands, of years um, in order to to enslave their populations. They create problems, and um, the public reacts, demanding a solution. And then the elites come along, the people that create the problem, they come along and present a solution. In that solution comes control. So let's take um, 9/11 for instance. 9/11 is the most